In the Western world of celebrities, it's not unusual for actors, singers, writers, and any other public figure to openly come out to the public about their relationships and their sexuality. In fact, many of their fans develop a newfound respect for their bravery when they do so. And fans who can relate to these celebrities feel even closer to them. So if it's such a positive response in the West, it's only natural for Western fans to wonder, well, why don't more K-pop idols come out? The answer is much more tragic than most of us would like to acknowledge. To start, the most obvious reason that K-pop idols don't come out publicly is because most K-pop groups and artists make music that is largely enjoyed and consumed by the opposite sex. Of course, there's plenty of guys who love boy groups and girls who love girl groups and people of other identities who love both. But right now, we're speaking in generalities. Companies understand the financial benefits of promoting a group of handsome single boys or a group of beautiful single girls to the opposite sex. This is kind of what adds to the glitz, glam, and fantasy of the K-pop world. It's the same reason why dating scandals are even a thing. It's the reason why K-pop idols hide their romantic partners, the people they're dating, and even their families. K-pop idols are typically promoted as being single because it makes them seem closer to fans, even if they're living across the world. Most people are straight, and artists are promoted as straight as well for this very reason. It adds to that fantasy of our faves being more available. You might be thinking, but there are so many of us who would appreciate the representation. Like, people are different. And that's so true, but unfortunately, Korea is much different than the West. K-pop is a bubble, and that's what people don't really understand. K-pop itself constantly pushes barriers, from suggestive lyrics and music videos, to boys in makeup and girls expressing themselves in various ways. But the reality is that Korea as a whole is still quite conservative. Some would even say homophobic. Of course, things are changing with the times, as they are everywhere but many in Korea are still not ready to openly embrace non-straight idols. Despite growing public support and awareness, homosexuality is still widely misunderstood in Korea. The LGBT community is often stereotyped, which leaves little room for tolerance. Queer people experience being shamed, shunned, and even discriminated against. And in a place where social conformity is embedded into the culture, it does make sense why some people would shy away from standing out, but it also makes dollars too. You may not have heard of her, but Mammon is actually K-pop's first openly gay idol. She originally debuted in 2007 under the stage name Magaply, and she debuted under the company Jerry Entertainment. Shortly after this debut, she came out as gay in an interview, and while her company initially wanted to write it off as just being a prank, when that didn't work, they ended up kicking her out of the company. She did end up finding a new company to sign with, but she hasn't been active since 2015. TV personality Hung Sook Chun is the most famous gay celebrity in Korea. Although he knew in middle school that he was a bit different from the other kids, he waited until he was 30 years old to publicly come out. In an interview with rapper Jesse, he said, I thought, would people finally be accepting of people like me in this new decade? Since the paradigm was changing. He said, so I finally decided to come out in the year 2000, but it was all the same. I had a really hard time, and for about three years, I was banned from broadcasts. When he returned in a K-drama called Perfect Love, after the public found out about his casting in the series, people protested in front of the television station with big posters saying Hon Suk Chun should not be in the show. Fortunately, the producers and the writers of the drama stood up for him saying that he didn't do anything wrong. Why are you treating him like this? Korean American vocalist Marshall Bang first publicly came out in an interview with Time Out magazine in 2015. Despite his friends warning him that he would definitely be ruining his life, he did it anyway, saying, I knew it wouldn't be easy. I understood the risks going into it, but I wanted to be authentic and be open from the get-go. And it wasn't easy. For years, he pursued music on his own, failing to find a label that would allow him personal and creative freedom. It wasn't until veteran rappers Tiger JK, Tasha, and Busy of the group MFTBY took him under their wings and welcomed him into their label did Marshall finally make a name for himself. They accepted him for who he was without question. Thank goodness he found an amazing label that accepted him, but unfortunately, that's just not everyone's reality. 
Many artists who also want to be true to themselves struggle to find labels so they don't end up debuting and they never go mainstream. For many artists in Korea, staying in the closet isn't just about making sure to secure your financial gains and your reputation. It can also just be for their safety as well, their physical well-being. On May 5th, singer-songwriter Holland shared through Instagram and Twitter to his millions of fans that when he was in Seoul's Itaewon region, he was attacked physically. Holland wrote that it was obviously a hate crime, adding that the person must have recognized him because he's a public figure, and he said that his sexuality should never expose him to this level of violence. Now, Holland has never shied away from addressing issues like this, and his music often is empowering and acts as a wake-up call to the realities of the queer community in everyday life. Although he was attacked, Holland was good-humored and upbeat, despite the traumatic event, saying, There were no broken bones, only bruises and scars. When asked how he was doing now, he added, I'm fine. It became a news story in Korea, though, and there were so many homophobic comments in the comment sections of the articles. I got more hurt by the malicious comments than when I actually got hit. In the end, he said, I don't want people to worry about Holland. Instead, I want to be a person who gives hope and strength to others. As you can see, there's still so much public stigma, discrimination, and even cases of physical harm that can befall those brave enough to live openly in their truth. Fortunately, times are changing and people are becoming more accepting. Many more K-pop idols openly support the LGBTQ plus community and their fans who identify as such as well. You'll probably see them wearing certain clothes or even waving flags at their concerts and just being supportive overall. And although, yes, there's still a veil of silence among K-pop idols, that is slowly lifting, with some idols brazenly making comments that hint at their own non-hetero identities. What these outspoken idols are doing is amazing, considering the climate in which they live, where they can be banned from television for years, risk losing job opportunities, being attacked, criticized, or even bullied. That's it for this video, guys. What are your thoughts on this subject? Do you agree or disagree? Let us know in the comment section below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more.